Have any of you guys ever sat down at a table and w noticed nasty stuff on it and been disgusted by it? Or have you ever wandered around your house and gone past the kitchen counters and seen trash on it, leftover food, or just any gross stains? Well, I know I've been in those situations before, and I know that I wanted the table and countertop to be clean instead of a mess. The good news is that their tabletops are easy to clean off and anything along those lines. And today I will be showing you about the different materials needed to clean off tables and some different things along those lines that can be cleaned. And then I will discuss the actual steps to clean it off. And finally, I will end with the benefits to cleaning off tables. First, let's talk about the materials needed. Um, or the different things that can be cleaned off. There can be tables, desks, or countertops that can be cleaned off. More importantly than different objects is the um, more importantly than different objects is the different materials. If they are made out of wood, they can. There's a chance that they can be that that um, different like soap can damage it. So they would need a special solution in a spray bottle. But if it is not wood, you could use soap, washcloth, and get it get it wet with warm water. An alternate way from a washcloth you could use paper towels in a spray bottle with any kind of soap or clean material. Now let's talk about the steps to cleaning off a table. If you are at home, you could use a washcloth, soap, and warm water, and then you would put a little bit of soap on the washcloth, run the washcloth under the water, warm water and to mix it in with the soap, and then you would wring out, wring out the washcloth over the sink so you could have, so it wouldn't be, there wouldn't be too much water. Then you would make sure that the entire table has nothing on it so, so you could clear it off and get that out of your way. In this case, there's nothing, so then you would just take your damp washcloth and run it over the table, scrubbing some parts that may have like thick stains to make sure it's completely clean. And the final step would be to get, if you wanted to, you could get a different uh, dry cloth and dry it off by just going over the entire table again. If you did the alternate way of a spray bottle, you would just spray like evenly spots across the table and take a good amount of paper towels and wipe the entire table. And then you could take more paper towels after spreading it out to dry it off even more. Now that we have learned the steps to actually cleaning off a tabletop, let's talk about the benefits. I think that the first benefit would come to most people's mind, and that is that there would be less germs. Less germs is a great benefit because that will decrease the chance of people getting sicknesses. The next step, or another benefit, would be that it would decrease anxiety and stress. According to Office Price, um, Things that are clustered in a small spot will lead to more anxiety and stress. So if you take the time to wipe down a table, that would mean that you had taken the time to clear everything off the table. And so you could organize those objects at the same time. Along with less germs and less anxiety and stress, is it increase, any kind of cleaning increases productivity. So that will give you a better feeling about yourself. Now that we have gone over the items needed to clean off a table and along with some different kinds of t tops to clean off and the actual steps to do it and the benefits. You sh I hope that you guys have all, all know how to clean off tables and in the future when you see a dirty table or your dirty counters in your house. I hope you will think of the benefits and want to clean them. Thank you.